Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Kyla and I am oh so excited to have you join us today. So if you are new, hi, hello, welcome. My channel is basically just a plethora of all things that I love. The main focus of my channel somehow kind of got to be my American Girl collection, which I'm totally okay with. So that is what today's video is going to be focusing on. But a couple quick things. Thank you guys so much for 200 subscribers. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe it. I just... I woke up and it was at 201, so I was like, oh my gosh, I just, I couldn't believe it. Thank you all so much, you guys. I'm so blessed to have you um, follow me on this, you know, journey through this world, and you guys have watched my collection grow, my channel grow, and thank you, thank you so, so much. So in honor of that, I've decided to do two things. Um, the first being a QA. and I'm not sure when that will come out, hopefully by next week, um, but it is a holiday week next week, so we will see. But if you want to go ahead and leave your questions, it can be doll related, it can be related to my vision, um, music, because you guys know music is a huge passion of mine. So any type of question that you have, you are more than welcome to ask multiple questions. You can do that a couple different ways. You can ask in the comments down below. You can also email me your questions. My email is in the description. You can ask me any questions via direct message on my Instagrams and my Twitter, so my doll Instagram or my personal Instagram, and obviously my just regular Twitter. Those are also linked down below. So you can submit your question or questions any of those different ways. So like I said, they can be related to anything. And the other thing I decided to do was this, my Instagram followers create my doll. So basically, I got this idea a long time ago from Heart. Um, she is the creator of the lovely YouTube channel Forever and Always, and she is actually who I got my doll Natalie from. And she did this a while ago, and I was like, oh my god, that's so cool. I want to do that. So on my Instagram, Kyla Collects AG, which is, again, always down below, I went ahead and I put up a couple of different polls asking you guys, my amazing followers, um, what, you know, types of features you would like the Create Your Own Doll to have. And I have those polls right next to me, the results of them. Um, I have it on my phone, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look at that. So we're going to create this doll together. I, if I do like her, well, I'm going to save her to my Create Your Owns as, you know, regardless. If I do like her, I will, I'm going to say I will buy her when we hit... 1,000 subscribers because she is create your owns are $200 and you guys know I am trying to save money right now for reasons I can't announce yet. Let's get started. So if you're unfamiliar with the American Girl Create Your Own, like I just come here to play around. You can also create your own um, clothing, but we're more interested in the doll right now. And this doll is so cute right here. She literally fits my whole like doll aesthetic because I'm obsessed with dolls with blonde hair because I have blonde hair. So we're going to find the one that I always like to start with and that's this one because she's just the cutest. I love her so so much. So um, we are going to go ahead and hit create yours. I also realized that I forgot to ask you guys what outfit she's going to have but I'm probably going to keep this one because it is my favorite just because of the jacket and the dress. So I'm just going to do that. So the first thing I asked you guys were, or was rather, her facial features. So um, let's do the face mold first. So I asked you guys, give me one second. Okay. So I asked you guys. Um, face mold. And obviously the options are A for classic mold, B for Josefina, which I'm going to point this out right now, which I'm sure a lot of you have noticed if you've been here recently. Josefina is spelled wrong. Josefina Montoya's name is spelled with an F, so um, AG, you got to fix this. Um, C for the Jess mold, D for the Sonali, and E for Addie. There are a couple of face molds that I feel that they really need to add here. Um, Marie Grace, Nenea, Joss, just like you four, no. <laughs> um, okay, but you guys went ahead and you picked the Jess mold, which I'm super, super happy about because if I ever do get to create your own, I want a Jess or Sonali mold. Um, so Jess is my favorite mold, so you guys you guys did very well on that one. Okay, so for skin tone, um, now they have these numbers here, and if you go over, it will like describe them to you. So you guys ended up choosing number... 
um, 25, which is this one. Oh, she looks really cute. Okay, so then we're going to hit done. Then we're going to go to eye color, and I gave you guys all the options, and you guys chose, let me see here, you guys chose blue. I did list it as dark blue, but there's light blue and dark blue, which, you guys... These are like all things that I love. So you guys know me so well. Um, freckles and you guys said yes, which I thought that was pretty interesting because when I've done create your owns, I haven't, um, you know, experimented with the freckles. You know, when I come on here and play because I obviously don't have one. Um, I didn't ask for braces or hearing aids simply because I'm not, I don't. I don't know about the braces. Um, I never had braces as a kid, so I don't know. My siblings did. And for the hearing aid, I felt like I don't typically use um, Joss's hearing aid. I do have it because I love it and I think it's super cool, but I just didn't put that um, in the poll. So we're just going to go ahead and skip over those. Hit done. Okay. Um, now for the hair. The hair is the exciting part, you guys. So I asked you guys for hairstyle. So long, medium, or short. And you guys went ahead and chose long, so I was super happy about that. And for the hairstyle, you guys chose long wavy. So I'm going to go ahead and find it. Here it is. Oh, she looks really, really cute just like that. And then for the hair color... Um, you guys chose, where is it? Light blonde. So here is the final product, our cute little create your own. Um, I do love her. I think she's absolutely adorable. I think you guys did a fantastic job. If you guys did like enjoy this and you want to do like a part two or something where we can just all play around with this feature together. I'd totally be open to that if you want to let me know. But um, she is super, super cute. So she's got the Jess Mold, dark blue eyes, light blonde, long wavy hair, the number, I think it was 20 or 25 um, skin color, and she's just super, super cute. Um, if you guys want to leave name suggestions down below, that would be great. One thing I have to say is she is extremely similar to Chloe, my Kanani Akina custom that I created, who also has blonde hair and blue eyes, and she just looks like a Chloe with um, longer hair and freckles, but I do think she's cute. I love her a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and save her. I don't know if I would buy her. I mean, since she kind of looks like a doll I already have, but I do think she's really, really cute, and um, you guys did a great job. I love her because I was kind of nervous because I'm so particular about the types of dolls that I collect. And you guys obviously know me because she's blonde haired, blue eyed, Jess mold. And you guys know those are like three of my favorite things all in one. So I do love her. I do think she's cute. I'm going to go ahead and save her to my collection. Um, but I don't know if I will be buying her when we hit 1000 subscribers your creations. Okay, we're just going to do this for fun um, because I want to show you guys. I think I only have a couple. So here's the one we just made together. And then over here, oh, this one's cute. I don't remember making half of these. See, most of them, except I think that was an accidental save. This one is cute. This is the light skin Addie mold, and I think she's adorable. This is is what I would love the girl of the year 2021 to be, but that's like a whole nother story. And I think the first Create Your Own I ever saved was this one, and she's super, super adorable. As you guys can see, I'm a fan of the long hair. Um, but here's our girly. Um, I think she's really cute. I know I keep saying that she is, but um, just the fact that she looks really, really similar to Chloe is the only reason I probably would not buy her. But with that being said, Regardless, when I hit a thousand subscribers, I will be buying a Create Your Own. That might come a couple months or weeks after we hit the 1,000, but I'm just going to say that right now. If and when, okay, no. When we hit 1,000, I will buy a Create Your Own. It could be any of these girls or you guys could help me create many, many more. So if you guys enjoyed this, leave a comment down below. Um, also, don't forget to submit your Q&A questions because I'm super excited for that. 
If you have not already, give this video a big thumbs up and tap that really cool notification bell so you can know the exact moment I post a new video. Have a blessed day and I will speak to you all soon. Bye guys!